Yo, welcome Fronies to the ultimate contract guide and don't worry, this guide has more to offer than just telling you to always refresh before you go and get a pouch. When we are going into contracts, I first actually want to start talking about the contract scrolls that you can drop in the open world, because they are having lots of potential actually, and I did not see many people talk about them yet. Because in those scrolls, you can actually get pouches as well at a really high rate, a way higher rate than doing normal contracts. So let me show you. So what we're going to try to do now is getting more pouches out of those scrolls. So we are trying to reroll until we get a pouch. We got one. You see? And this is how you can basically turn all of those screen scrolls into an additional pouch. So in the additional pouches that we are able to get that way, we will always use to craft those blue contract scrolls that are having the highest loosened value out of all of the contract scrolls, because you can craft items with the abyss currency with it. So our goal is to get as many as those as possible and save our enchanted ink to turn those into littles to make a bunch of loosened. One question remains open and that is how we are getting lots of them. And we will answer that at the end of the video. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. So for the end game positions where you could be doing contracts, you have the ability to get pouches at Watcher's Post, Pure Light Tower, and at Kanina Village. I would personally highly recommend doing it at Watcher's Post. And the reason for that is simple. It's just the most time efficient way to do it. Fono Bazaar has a route that always go in one circle. You're starting here, you're porting here, you're doing gatherables here. Then you move over here, you have the brazier and you have the mana recording device, basically everything in one spot. So you can always go one turn and you're done. And if you are making sure while selecting the contract that you are picking only contracts that are from that region and if possible, also contracts that are overlapping. So let's say for here, yeah, I have here an Orc Shaman and here I have an Orc Shaman, so I only have to do one. So try to overlap if that is possible. And always make sure that before you start doing your contract, you make a visit to the contract coin merchant and buy the Mystic globe keys because you can do that also in Fono Bazaar really efficient and that way you are getting two of your daily tasks done at once. But the contract does not have only Fono Bazaar quests it also has the runes of Durian quest but here it's the same you are going to the port if it's possible you will not pick any of the skeleton ones you will pick the zombie ones because here you have the token the parrot, everything is basically on, on one spot so you can go one route. So now let's talk a bit about what kind of rewards should you be getting at what stage of the game because there's no general answer. So let's say you're a new player, you will always pick weapon ores until you have both of your purple weapons to plus nine. Once you have that checked off your box, you will then have to make sure that you're either having enough armor or accessory stones ready so that if you are dropping your purple upgrade, you have enough to instantly plus nine it. Once you have achieved that stage, the next logical step is um, upgrading your skills. And to do so, you will only go for the parchment. Do not go for the marins. Marins you can get from other resources than here. Focus on the parchments. If your skills are also at a decent level, then at some point, the only thing you want to get from here are rare Polish crystals for all the crafting that you're going to be doing. And for the end game, this is basically the only reward that you're going to be choosing then. So now let's come back to the open world contract that we've talked at the start of the video. And here we are at the senior sentries crafter and we are actually crafting scrolls. That means every scroll that you're dropping in the open world, that is not at least the Kanina village value. That means every Vienta village or sanctuary or oasis that you're dropping, you will dissolve those contracts to get the allied forces seals. And then what you want to be crafting is the, um, the last land watchers post out of the 
those, you can get the pouches. And that is uh, by two cheaper than Canina Village and Pure Light Tower. So this is your craft of choice. So make sure you're never running those um, low level contracts and always dissolve them to get the max value. And the first spot here that I like to farm is in Akido Valley right here on that island. Because here you have two spawns, that spawn and the spawn right here. You can always gather it um, for huge AoEs and you have a boss spawn on your location as well. So this is one of the two best um, spawns to actually farm those contracts. The second spot where you're able to get good AoEs going is actually here in Fono Bazaar all the way to the top. You can see right here, you can gather large AOEs with um, no big issue. And it also has two spawns. So you can go and do the spawn right here at the pressure that you can activate for easier help to group them. And then you have another spawn right here next to each other. When I farm here, I also once in a while go up here because right there is also a boss spawn. So you can keep um, spamming those boss kills as well. Yeah, guys, that was it with the contract. Everything I knew, everything that I'm doing daily. If you still have any questions, just let me know in the comments. As always, I try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.